Let's talk about Chromebooks. First, they never break. No matter how many times you drop it, no matter how high, it will never break it. Breaking it would be like breaking one of the plastic plates in the school cafeteria. If you break one, you are literally the strongest person in the school. Number two, they suck. They are slower than the school Wi-Fi in the basement when there's 30 people on it. It takes three minutes to get onto the school website because you forgot which class you have. And by the time that you have awkwardly sat in the hallway standing with your computer on your hands, you're late. But there is a good part to computers. So, when you open three million tabs on your friend's computer, it's a nightmare for them. If you try to X out the tabs, your computer will lag and instead X out a different window with all the important things on it. And not only can you do this, but that means when you're in class, you can make it so your friend's computer, the window behind it, so he, they can't see it, has a million tabs. And when the, everybody goes online to Kahoot or whatever with amazing music, they'll be late because their computer is lagging so much. It's a great prank. Another thing you can do if you're bored is you can take off the pieces, the piece that goes in between your keys. And that piece you can break into a million pieces. Well, you may have to call tech support once you're done, but you can break into a million pieces and make a puzzle out of it. And when you're bored, you just make complete the puzzle. It's really hard. Uh, I've done it with every single Chromebook I've ever had. Uh, so of my friends. Number four or three. I don't know. Judging by the quality of this video, which is terrible, you can tell that it was made by a Chromebook. This is proof of how terrible Chromebooks are, and how terrible their microphones are, because I sound like a robot. The final thing I have to say about Chromebooks is how cheap they are for a computer. Yeah, I know they're terrible. I know they can't handle a single game if you want to download one. But if you're not using them for school, they have a lot of storage. Now, I don't suggest buying one instead of, like, a MacBook or a Windows. But boy, I've never run out of storage on a Chromebook, and I've used the same one for seven years. And that's pretty impressive, considering me and my friends have made an entire company with its own website that's fake making cars and uh, nuclear-powered motorcycles. Thanks, Dr. Ludwig, for suggesting this idea. And yes, it was a very bad idea to do this on a Chromebook and all the other previous videos that I've ever made. Like the video if you agree with me. Comment if you have any other things that you would like to say about Chromebooks. And thanks for watching.